Who said that? Somebody else or Dr. Seuss? There have been many misquotes throughout history, from Confucius to Shakespeare to Benjamin Franklin to Dr. Seuss. Now it's time to set history straight and find out who said that. Was it somebody else or Dr. Seuss? Marie Antoinette was a picky eater until the end. Is this what she said when offered her last meal before being beheaded? I do not like them, Sam. I am. I do not like green eggs and ham. <laughs> no, Marie Antoinette never said that. She's famous for saying something else. It was the hilarious Dr. Seuss who said. I do not like them, Sam. I am. I do not like green eggs and ham. In his classic book, Green Eggs and Ham, is this what George Washington said as he was crossing the Delaware River during the Revolutionary War? Will you succeed? Yes, you will indeed. Ninety-eight and three-quarter percent guaranteed. Nope. Washington was too busy giving commands to the guys rowing the boat. The quote about succeeding came from the weird world of Dr. Seuss in his book, "Oh, the places you'll go." Is this what Hannibal was telling his men as he crossed the Alps to sneak up on the Romans? I meant what I said, and I said what I meant. An elephant's faithful, one hundred percent. Nope, again. Even though it sounds like something Hannibal might say, Hannibal was too busy giving commands to the elephants. The quote about elephants is another famous line from the Dr. Seuss in his book Horton Hatches the Egg. Is this what Queen Isabella said to Columbus when she sent him to discover the New World? You have brains in your head. You have feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself any direction you choose. Absolutely not. Queen Isabella was known more for her greed than her wit. No, the brain in your head quote is from Dr. Seuss's book. Oh, the places you'll go. Is this what Napoleon said while reflecting on his defeat at Waterloo? I have heard there are troubles of more than one kind. Some come from ahead, and some come from behind. Napoleon was too busy scratching to say much of anything. This quote about trouble is pure Dr. Seuss. And finally, was it somebody else or Seuss who said? Think left and think right, and think low and think high. Oh, the things you can think up if only you try. It was Seuss again. So now you know. If it's witty, wacky, and wonderful, it's probably a quote from Doctor Seuss. The end. Oops! Wait, there's more. The face that launched a thousand quips, the late great Dr. Seuss, whose real name was Theodore Seuss Geisel, was born on March 2, 1904. He is best known for his many books written for children, such as The Cat in the Hat, How the Grinch Stole Christmas, and Green Eggs and Ham. Dr. Seuss was a great man and a great author. He was responsible for writing and illustrating 48 books for children. His books gave us many profound and memorable lines, always tinged with humor. The end, and this time I mean it. <laughs>